my name is Nomsa Mazwai, but I'm known as Nomi Superstar. I'm an artist, I'm a social activist, I'm an academic. I'm just a bright young South African like other young South Africans. Uh, I'm awesome. <laughs> like everybody else in South Africa. So today, the 30th of January 2015, I decided to take my petition out to the streets. And the reason why I did that is a month ago I started this petition. I found out about what the Steel siblings were planning to do with the late Steve Bigo and Ahmed Timmel's autopsy reports that they wanted to auction them. And I thought this is absolutely ludicrous, it's crazy. How can you take a piece of history that is so important to so many people, to millions of South Africans, and want to auction it? Um, it, it was not about the money to me, it really was about the rubbishing of something, you know, to make it commercial when it's a piece of our national heritage. So I started this petition online and I gathered signatures, but I realized that I need to take it to the streets. I need to get people on the streets to know more about what's going on. So we decided that on the 30th of January, when I'm celebrating my 30th birthday, um, you know, Steve Biko died around this age as well. If you love Steve Biko, come sign the petition. My name is Tando Sipuye and I'm the communications officer for the Steve Biko Foundation. And basically uh, we are here today um, basically to ask people to sign a petition for the return of Steve Biko's autopsy report. collecting signatures, sign the petition. We are collecting signatures to honor the memory of the late Steve Biko. There are two children that are trying to auction the autopsy report of the late Steve Biko. We do not want this to happen. It is a piece of our collective history as South Africans. We are signing a petition. Come and sign the petition. If you love the legacy of Steve Biko, sign the petition. Make your name known for future generations that you stood up and you honored the legacy of the late Steve Biko and Ahmed Timo. Africa unite, cause we're moving right out of Babylon, and we're grooving to I our I to me what I think about this campaign, it's, it's a perfect campaign, like to bring unity in diversity, because if you can't just take something that does not belong to you and just sell it, it's an unethical practice. We need to like to be in unity, like to be united. As we say, it's South Africa united. Hi guys, you know Steve Biko? So you remember how when he died, the Bundy government lied about how it was that he died? So anyways, Dr. Gladman was a medical examiner at the time. And he did an autopsy on Steve Biko, which was detailed and tells exactly what happened to him. And when he did the autopsy, his officers were under surveillance by the apartheid police. So he gave the autopsy report to his PA, okay, a Mrs. Steele, to take care of the autopsy reports. And it's Steve because and Ahmed Timur was two people. She takes the autopsy reports, honors that, she keeps them secretly filed away. Time goes by, you know, things happen in South Africa. She dies. Her kids get the autopsy and they decide instead of returning to the families, that they're going to auction it off. So we're trying to stop them from sending it to auction. They should just give it to the family. It's not theirs. That one for sure we can say, it's not yours. Give it to the right people. Do the right thing. It's our responsibility as South Africans to do the right thing, guys. And to encourage each other. So we can build this beautiful country of ours. <laughs> Early December last year, we learned that um, the autopsy report of Steve Biko and Ahmed Timol were to be auctioned at an auctioning house called Westgate Holding. And um, basically, we received this information two or three days before this uh, auction was scheduled to take place. And uh, we received this news by chance. Uh, our CEO, Mr. Ngosinati Bigo, received an email 
from a friend who asked if we were aware of this uh, auction and uh, basically it was a surprise even to us that there was such kind of an auction we did not know that this auction was scheduled if you love steve Biko and the ideas of black consciousness sign this petition we know him yeah. Huh? You know how he died? Like, Basically, we don't know his history. Okay, so when Steve, Steve was a freedom fighter and he was bringing the NT and the PNC together, yeah. and the apartheid government were very afraid of him because that's what he was doing. Yeah. And they knew, they, were, they knew he was going to bring them down. So they arrested him on his way. Yeah, yeah so they arrested him. On, and did you see how, how he died? Yeah, yeah. So now when he died, the apartheid police lied about the way that he died, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, but but um, So they lied. But there was a medical examiner who was commissioned to do an autopsy, who did, a, who did an official autopsy on Steve Biko. Yeah. But because his officers were so heavily watched by the apartheid police, he gave the autopsy, to re the autopsy report to his personal assistant who used to work in his office. Because he knew that nobody's going to check her stuff. So she goes home, she hides the autopsy report, years go past, she even dies. He even dies. Then the kids of this woman, when they drink the estate, yes, in my, my they check everything on this. They find the autopsy report. Do you know what they choose to do? Instead of taking it to Steve Biko's family, they choose to take it to an auction so that they can make money out of it. So we're trying to stop them. Not in 2015. This is our South Africa. This is our history. This is our history. It's our history. No! 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 no. 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 What I think about this campaign, I think it's a very good idea for the sake of the family and for the sake of the nation. I think doing this for the family, you, you're helping, you're assisting also, that um, they must also find closure. We walked from Brown Pantene, we walked all the way up to Constitution Hill. Uh, sometimes we broke up into like, you know, teams of two to go and get signatures. Sometimes we walked as a group. Azania is coming and what we mean by that is Azania is South Africa or what what has, what is what the other name for South Africa it's something that people use as a name to refer to this place that we live in it can even refer to the African continent and it's pan-African in thought um, you know Steve Bigo was part of the black consciousness movement and that means that he that by virtue of that he's pan-African in his thinking um, and so we started singing that and all that really we saying is that uh, this South Africa that Steve Bigo was dreaming about, this idea that he was dreaming about, this idea that he died for, it's coming and we are the bearers of it. I think what Nomsa has done is actually commendable, she's a great example. I actually think what she did is actually really, really commendable, it's very brave of her and it really shows uh, that uh, not all young people of uh, Azania, you know, um, are lost. We are not all of us a lost generation.
far as I can say, I think we really have achieved what we actually wanted to achieve. Because part and parcel of uh, the work uh, was to actually give out awareness on the case and on this issue you know, of the sale of uh, Steve Biko and Ahmed Timor's uh, autopsies. And I think um, we have made a lot of people who were actually not aware of this case, aware that actually something like this is out there and something like this is going on. Uh, in far as that, I think we really have achieved what we wanted to achieve. This is South Africa. This is how we live. This is how we care for each other. It's not wundu, it's not tando, it's not pubele. But don't take advantage of that. That doesn't mean you can take our land and take our women and rape us. You did that for a hundred years. You won't do it anymore. It's, it's Now it's done. 2015, we don't live like that anymore. And if people don't want to transform, they can pack their bags and they can leave. Honestly. And that's why we're here. I mean, we love South Africans, but we can't just be walked on.